TikTok ban, TikTok ban, TikTok ban. The House passed a bill today that could ban TikTok. What does it mean for you as a content creator? What does it mean for you as a business owner? If you already heard about this or if you don't know about this, you already know what time it is. Buckle up. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying this. If you are a content creator and or a business owner, it has never been a better time for you to begin migrating to other platforms. Shift your audience over to your other platforms so as to build them in the process because my personal opinion, TikTok ain't going nowhere. But let's get into the bill. If you've reached this far in the video and you don't want to go any further, cool. Say you're in the comments so that I know that you are here and keep it moving. Everybody else, let's get to it. The bill itself would prohibit TikTok from U.S. app stores unless the social media platform used by roughly 170 million Americans is spun off from its Chinese parent company, ByteDance. It is not clear what the future of the bill will be in the Senate. However, the House vote was 352 to 65 with 50 Democrats and 15 Republicans voting in opposition. Lawmakers supportive of the bill have argued TikTok poses a national security threat because the Chinese government could use the intelligence laws against ByteDance, forcing it to hand over the data of U.S. app users. Let us be clear, there's not been a single instance of this taking place with this company, posing a credible threat to United States national security. This is nothing more than a political witch hunt to whereby I personally believe, and it's my personal opinion, that this will not stand. Current President Biden has already stated that he is ready to sign the bill, providing it passes in the Senate. What this actually means is that the bill would give ByteDance roughly five months to sell TikTok. If not divested by that time, it would be illegal for the app store operators such as Apple and Google to make it available for download. TikTok itself has called the legislation an attack on the constitutional right to freedom of expression for its users. It launched a call to action campaign within the app, urging users to call representatives in Washington to oppose the bill. Multiple congressional offices have said they've been flooded with calls. And if you know nothing else about TikTok users, you should know what time it is. We not going to stop calling. In a statement on Wednesday's vote, which is today, TikTok said its attention would now shift to the Senate, where the fate of the legislation is unclear. A TikTok spokesperson said in a statement, this process was secret and the bill was jammed through for one reason. It's a ban. We are hopeful that the Senate will consider the facts, listen to their constituents, and realize the impact on the economy 7 million small businesses and 170 million Americans who use our service. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate will review the legislation when it comes over from the House. In recent comments to reporters, Wisconsin Republican Representative Mike Gallagher, who chairs the House Select Committee on China, rejected characterizations of the bill as a TikTok ban. He said it's not a ban. It simply puts the choice squarely in the hands of TikTok to sever their relationship with the Chinese Communist Party. As long as ByteDance no longer owns the company, TikTok can continue to survive. The basic ownership structure has to change. TikTok wrote on Twitter, the government is attempting to strip 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression. This will damage millions of businesses, deny artists an audience, and destroy the livelihoods of countless creators across the country. TikTok CEO has attempted to schedule 11th hour meetings with the members of Congress. The company also sent letters to multiple House lawmakers on Monday, accusing them of mischaracterizing TikTok's call to action campaign, saying it is offensive for lawmakers to dismiss the views of constituents who have overwhelmed congressional offices with phone calls. In its totality, this is what this means. The government is saying, hey, we believe that TikTok could pose a threat to our national security. So what you do is that after this bill is passed, you have five months, five months to sell to a non-adversary company and or country in that TikTok can survive. However, if the company does not decide to do that and ByteDance still owns the company and this bill passes, they would make it illegal in the United States for Apple and Google to have it in its app store available for download. As a content creator, as well as a business owner, I would reiterate, migrate to other platforms. There's never been a better time. I'm not saying stop posting. Continue posting. Continue getting your views. Continue changing lives. Continue doing the amazing things, educating, et cetera, et cetera, that people do on this platform. However, there's not been a better time 
to migrate over to other platforms so as to build on those other platforms and shifting people their attention to other places. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, depending on your service. I say all that to say, ensure that you are following creators that are giving you good quality information and not just rage farming for your attention. Good day, and I hope this helped.